So I'm heading up to the Bronx to check in on a couple of things. And this phone's been dead for years. This is the Uptown 4 train, 4 Express train. And I think I, I think I made video of this one the last time I went up to the Bronx, which was, I don't know, three or four months ago. But I'm going up to Fordham Road, taking the four to four, <coughs> taking the four to Fordham, where I want to just, like I said, check in on a couple of things. Then I'm going to try to, if I don't run out of time, I'm going to swing back down, back down to Harlem. So I was there yesterday and I forgot that there is a, another subway station way over on the far west end of Harlem, by sort of toward the uh, Cotton Club. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check in on that one if, if I don't run out of time. So I made it up to Fordham Road. And I'm not expecting this to work and it doesn't. That wheezing sound is the door, the emergency exit door that everybody's going through. So this is not the one that I came to check in on. I wasn't expecting this to be here, but I'm not surprised. A lot of abandoned pay phones at the, that litter the subway system. stained glass along this four train line is pretty cool. I noticed the last time I came up here. This is one of the things I wanted to check on. The um, one of the many failures that the Link NYC program was this experimental solar panel or solar powered device or kiosk. The solar panel was supposed to provide enough juice to keep the kiosk running during a power outage, and it was a complete failure. I don't know how anybody could have thought that the solar panel would keep this energy consuming thing alive. And the real failure isn't so much that it didn't work, is that they didn't even try to test this before the, the, uh, before the kiosks went live. There's a lot of stuff they didn't even try to test, and they didn't do it very well. Very poorly planned program all around. This is on Walton Street in the Bronx, off of Fordham Road. So this is what I had in mind to check in on. It's these two old timers on Fordham Road near Webster Avenue. There's the old Verizon signage on top that's just been spray painted over. And 
and this one is obviously gone. And probably not coming back. Here, on the other hand, is a survivor, but by appearances, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess this sucker doesn't work. <laughs> Indeed, no dial tone. And the sun comes out to shed some light on a non-working phone. I spotted a number of yellow mats on the sidewalk coming up here. Or over here. And I didn't see any other any other pay phones. It's a longer walk than I was expecting. Or it's longer than I thought to get from the subway here, but it's all good. Welcome to the beautiful Bronx. It's never lost on me when I see that, but I'm pretty damn lucky in life. But I've never ended up in a position like that. When I was in high school, I took the written driving test to get my driver's license, and part of it was multiple choice, where you had to guess what that sign in the middle means, the one with the the swervy lines behind a car and of course it means slippery when wet but one of, the, one of the choices on that multiple choice test was drunk driver ahead I remember everybody in there taking the test got a laugh out of that this is another bit of blight that the link NYC program has brought to this to the landscape this is Webster Avenue 189th Street and when you see one of these big orange pylons it's supposed to signal that a link nyc kiosk has come into this spot and this this pylon has probably been sitting here for two years if not longer some of them I, I, there was one on 61st street that just disintegrated and just fell down and just sort of fell apart and left sharp nails and all kinds of splinters and all kinds of hazards just sitting there and they just don't want to do anything about it but on the upside, it appears that they've stopped putting these big wood husks out in favor of the, the safer yellow mats that just sort of blend into the blend into the woodwork, so to speak. But this is just one of the many stupid things about Link NYC is that the wood structures end up sitting out here for years.
Okay, so I made it up to 125th Street. And let's just see if what I remember from maybe a year and a half ago is still here. The sun came out, it turns out to be a beautiful day. It started out kind of gloomy. I have to go look at my old pictures again, but I'm pretty sure that's where a payphone used to be. It's just about the right size. I've never seen the the plywood cover before, but or the particle board, or whatever the hell that is. But uh, that one's gone. And also gone is the one that used to be here. That's unfortunate, but welcome to 2021, right? This actually is not as interesting a station as I thought it was, as I thought I remembered, although the very long, es pretty, no, nah, not that long an escalator, but something to see. And I figure as long as I'm down here, let's see if this one is still here. This is 125th and Broadway.